Greetings friends, it's me, Wayman29. Thought I would come on and uh, do a video. And um, I'm currently working on doing a uh, study of the underworld, or Sheol, or Hell, or Hades. So hopefully in a few weeks um, I'll, have, I'll have that all put together. Um, I just finished um, the Odyssey getting into the getting into um, Beowulf, some of the some of the other stuff, and I want to finish up uh, Purgatory and Paradise uh, by Dante. So, I, I've been doing a lot of reading. But, um, this is a video going out to Shatora 1979, Mr. and Mrs. Shatora 1979, and could someone explain creationism to me and my wife. And uh, he talks about how he's banging his head off the steering wheel after listening to some evangelical evangelists trying to be a scientist. That bothers me to no end also. Um, especially, um, you can see that come out uh, when I made the video um, concerning Dr. Oakley. And uh, he, he just posted um, uh, Dr. Oakley uh, just posted a video, his last video, on the same topic, uh, complaining about the same thing, but the other side, you know, uh, and you should see that video, and you would bang your head once more. See, the reason why I think I have a problem with um, <clears throat> evolutionist Christians um, uh, on a philosophical or uh, on, a, on, a, on a different level. Um, what I mean by, I, I can't wrap my head around uh, the thinking. Here, um, to be a Christian, uh, you know, you, you would have to accept the resurrection of Christ, which nobody's ever come back from the dead. Um, you'd have to accept that as a it's a miracle, and it, and I wonder if you're willing to accept somebody coming back from the dead as a miracle. Why not creation? So here we try to, um, you know, uh, use evolution uh, scientifically within a theology uh, and try to explain it. When, um, if you're Christian, you accept the miracle of Christ. Um, uh, why not the miracle of creation? Is there um, just as much proof against Christ rising from the dead as there is against creationism? Yes, there is. So, so, so what's interesting is, I guess what happens is, um, to me, a lot of people have the uh, theological worldview, and they try to pass it off as history, as science. So, these different belief systems and theologies, they're like Kool-Aid packets. And they like to flavor history and science with their particular theology. So, there's very few scholars out there that are honest when they do it. The rest are very deceptive, and, and that's one of the things that, that bothers me. If you're going to talk about history from a theological standpoint, I'm fine. That's very fascinating to me. I, I really like that stuff, and I've read a lot of that literature. However, I need to know that that's where you're coming from, and I don't need a person to try to pass off a theological viewpoint uh, as history, um, and be and be sly about it. So basically, what we have are a lot of evangelicals trying to pass themselves off as historians. A lot of evangelicals trying to pass themselves off or disguise themselves as scientists. And both views can be heard, but you should be upfront on when you're. Uh, 
when you're trying to uh, convey, the, convey those views. Now, one person who does it really well is, is my friend, uh, backyard professor. He's Mormon. And, however, I can listen to him and, and when, he, when he skips from the historical into the theology, he lets us know. Many of his videos are like that. Um, he'll say, you know, I might be a little biased because I'm Mormon, but this is what I believe, what it says. And, and, and you can tell, okay, he's, he's breaking from history. He's going into a theological viewpoint that's just as valid to be heard. And when um, evangelicals fail to do that, and when those of belief systems fail to do that, you, you see it happening all the time in uh, Islam, you know, when, when they're trying to uh, make these videos about proven uh, scientific things in the Quran in order to validate the literature. You don't need to validate the literature. The literature is itself, and it'll speak to those who read it, and it's, and it's very beautiful. History is the same way. When I'm trying to do um, research on finding something out, I want to know, I want to have the best evidence on what happened. I don't want a theological viewpoint. And, and, and that's where I draw the line. So, so that's why sometimes um, Christian evolutionists bug the heck out of me. I, I guess one fine example of this would be um, Cabane 52. Um, he, he was on, you know, and he'd be... Um, you know, debating uh, creationists, and he's an evolutionist, and blah, blah, blah. Then, he has Cabane the Christian, where he's trying to be uh, and a Christian and apologetic. So at one point, he's denying uh, the miracle of creationism. Another point, he is defending the miracle of Christ's resurrection. It's amazing. So, those are the two things. So, yes, there can be Christians who, who view uh, evolution as being um, a valid hypothesis of, of the beginning of the world. But I believe that these people need to also think about what else in the... If they're gonna if they're gonna put a theological aspect on evolution, and they're in a belief system, what what else are they asked to believe that has evidence against it? So it's not only creation that is a problem. It's it's the whole epic, the whole epic, and um, it's pretty amazing. I'm sure if you went back studied the Hebrew epic. Um, here you have uh, uh, the first five books uh, uh, from Joshua also all the way up to uh, Second Kings. Um, it's kind of like the Hebrew epic, where they came from, what they did, what they said, the law codes, all that. However, if you went back and dug up archaeology, went back and studied that, some of that would be true from, from the Hebrew epic. Some of it would not. Some of it would be romanticized Jewish theology on how they viewed themselves. Same thing can happen in the Aeneid. Is the Aeneid the true story of the first beginnings of Rome? No. However, from a romanticized Roman imperial cult, Roman theological view, Roman nationalism, uh, they would go back and look at that in a totally different way. So, so, so that's what I mean, and, and that's where I, I believe that some things annoy me, and, and then I, I just need to draw the line. I need to, I need to have a definite line where theology stops and history starts, where theology stops and science starts, and uh, I need people to be honest about that. So, um, uh. You're a great guy. Uh, and this was a great video. I, I, I enjoyed uh, watching you and having conversations with you. And um, I wish you and your wife the best. And um, this was a great topic. Uh, take care, friends. And remember, 
everybody's thinking alike, and somebody isn't thinking.